My boys today, leaving the Bincha Bechorcha, Shupeta Rechem the Imoi, my boys the Toys of At Homish Shloim, Kidimichafta Midaraisa. Chopitz only lift to his Espini, the Hilach, the May Fidione, Kidimichayavna Midaraisa. Amen. 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 This is to you, Caleb. This is your Mima, and you probably won't understand a word I'm saying until you're about three years old. But this is the second Pinyon Aben I've been to. The last one was 40 years ago, and I have to tell you that you were the best baby, the cutest, the quietest, the most delicious. And your mom and dad should be so proud of you because you were the star and you just shone in the sky for us. We love you. Hugs and kisses. We have a lot of nachas from your lovely son, Caleb. And we will miss you so much when you leave six months to LA and hopefully you'll be back right away. And, and best wishes for everything good. Liba and Zach, Mazol Tov, may Caleb uh, grow and teach you the way of the Lord. Mazel Tov, <laughs> Zach and Liba, the baby is really cute, and yeah. <laughs> okay, Mazel Tov, Liba and Zach, um, I hope everything goes well with you in the future, and I wish you all the best. Love you guys, and Mazel Tov again. Pidyan Aben is, uh, is, is a big mitzvah. Uh, mazel, Mazel. Very nice to be here with Zach and Liba, you know, on this Pidyan Aben. It's a uh, nice, it's big simcha, you know, it's a uh, first son, you know, it's uh, it was very exciting. And uh, Zachary, Mazel Tov, man. Good stuff. I've never been to Pidyan Aben. I have no idea what it's about, but it looks good. Only good things, man. Mazel Tov. Hey, Caleb. I mean, Liba and Zach. Caleb, you are awesome. I love you. Sure wants to say if you. Oh, Chaya wants to say if you are. Okay. Yeah, see you. Mazel Tov, uh, Zach and Liba. Anything you need, just knock on my door. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. You should grow to build a bias now and be a stroll. And you should be with Mazel Gazun, Bracha, Tzlacha. The Maral delves into the Indian of Bukhar, specifically Pidyon Aben. And he says when you look at the root word, Bukhar, there's uh, something that the letters have in common with each other. You have Bez, Chaf, and Resh. 2, 20, 200. Everything is twos, right? Um, so Maral continues to explain that when 
a uh, man and a wife get married, they become an Aleph. They become one, the Neshamas become one. Um, but when they have a child, especially a Bukhar and a boy, and your Zoychel make a Pidyon, they become a Beis. They create a second generation to give Torah and Mitzvahs over to. Um, I myself am not in that category as a Bukhar, but I do feel like uh, I have to thank my parents again publicly for passing over that degree of Torah and Mitzvahs into me. And um, I look forward to passing that same Torah and Mitzvahs over into our base, into our second generation. Uh, that was it. I told you to be quick. I just want to introduce my father, the uh, original Aleph, to say a few words. My son Zach and uh, daughter Liba have been blessed with a son, and, uh, and we have all been blessed to participate in this really momentous and unusual occasion of, um, of uh, opinion have been. In Bayera, we hear, last week, we hear of the tenth and final trial of Abraham Avinu, um, the Akedah. And I don't think it was by chance that my, my brother-in-law mentioned when he saw the baby on the, on the, on the, on the tray that this reminded him of, uh, of an Akedah, of the, of, of the Akedah, Yitzchak's Akedah, uh, Akedah Yitzchak. Um, um, and there is a connection. Um, the, um, Abraham Avinu, we know, was the embodiment of chesed. That was the natural tendency he had, and he had a tremendous ahavas for Hashem. When he was asked to sacrifice Yitzchak Avinu, this went against his nature. This wasn't what a father would want to do. It's not what Abraham Avinu would want to do. But his love for God should he have the strength and the encouragement from us all to overcome his natural tendency to do what's easy and to take upon himself what is more difficult. And from watching him grow, we should all grow as well. We know that, in, that, that to the Torah, my grandson will be called Kalman uh, 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 Abraham, Ben Yosef Moshe Zechariah, but he has a name that he'll be called, a common name, Caleb. Let's think about Caleb. Let's think of the name Caleb. This Caleb comes from a very important man who is watching above as all of our parents and grandparents are and sharing the simcha. But he's, but he's being watched over by, by Kalman Avraham, whose name was Kenneth. His common name was Kenneth or Kenneth. And our grandson has taken the name, has been given the name Caleb. He took the K from his baby, and he added it to his mother, Liba. And if you take those letters and you arrange them in the correct order, you will spell Caleb, K-A-L-E-B. That's not by chance. This is his name because he takes from his heritage, my mechut and shalom, he gets through his parents and my daughter, uh, life in, in uh, partnership with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he will take that name and he'll go forward. He will never, ever forget, I wish, I pray, where he came from, the K, who gave life to him, the Liba, and who he is, Caleb. Thank you very much.